there's the bullocks so we have a couple of Angus's Norwegian Reds the red and white ones are Norwegian Reds I think there might be one or two Frisians in it as well and there's a red Angus over there I love the red Angus's they're lovely Sick, 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 sick. Sean, you send them back up there. Sick, 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 sick. Hi everyone, I am down in Limerick at home at the moment. So I said as I was down here, I'd show you where some of our bull calves have gone. So um, my dad buys 10 or 12 bull calves from us every two years and he finishes them. So we normally rear them to, let's say, weaning uh, stage, so around June, and then he buys them then, and he, um, he's just talking to me here now, he buys them then and rears them then to finish. So yeah, as we were saying, we have Frisian, Norwegian Red. There's actually the four Anguses there together. Norwegian Red, Norwegian Red, and another Frisian. So anyway, as I was saying, Dad buys some bull calves from us, and then there's another guy that buys the rest of the dairy bull calves. So between the two of them, that's kind of our dairy bull calves sorted. And then we have a couple of farmers then. There's one couple that buy all the Continentals, uh, limousines. We have used Charlies in the past, but I don't think we're going to use Charlies again just because we had a couple of hair calvins um, we just prefer that the cows just able to calve themselves. Then we have Belgian Blues and then we have two other farmers that buy the Anguses from us. That's the dog in the background, she's not trained. Well she's not bad actually, she's not bad but she's not great either. There's my family that don't want to be on YouTube. My dad, my sister carrying the baby and my brother. I have another si two sisters. I was going to say another sister and brother. Um, I have another two sisters, a uh, younger one and, well, they're all younger than me. I'm the oldest, uh, but the youngest and then the one that's straight after me. She's in Nashville, actually, in Tennessee. So she is. Um, but anyway, back to the bulls, because we actually had a good suggestion from somebody about doing a video about bull selection. And that's very um, apt at the moment because breeding is coming up. So we'll probably be starting breeding we normally start like around the may bank holiday and we i'll be honest now normally every year i like or the bulls in like january february so that it's out of the way by the time calvin rolls around and this year i have not uh, got around to that i have the red angus ordered again because we really like him he's short his station and he's very easy calving you could put him on anything um so his code is AA4752. We get him from Bova AI. And then I have our Norwegian Reds bought. So we're using two bulls this year. We're using Sitje, uh, NR4173. And then I found another bull on the Norwegian Red Bull Index. So his name is, I'm probably not doing this justice now if anybody speaks Norwegian. Skarpel, I think is how you pronounce it. We buy the Norwegian Reds from Dove. So we've asked Dove if they'll bring him in, so they're going to import him. And so we've no code for him yet. So we don't do the AI ourselves. It's a AI technician that does our AI and he's with Progressive Genetics. So generally we just use the Frisians um, that he has in the fresh semen. So we'll probably do that again this year. Um, We'll just have a look and see what bulls they have available in the fresh. Um, if, the, if the bulls aren't suitable, we'll buy some. And then I have a jersey picked out as well. And I was talking to, we get 
the jersey from LIC. So we keep, try to keep everybody happy. We buy a bit from everyone, so we do. That's basically the gist of it. We kind of have like our top cows picked out. So we're aiming to get like 30 heifers, 30 bulls, and we'll probably keep between 20 and 25 heifers for ourselves and then we sell the few surplus but like this year we barely even had any surplus just the way it worked out oh yeah yeah sorry um the limousine so we've been using a limousine bull for the last few years uh, lm 2014 so he's very easy calving and he's like short gestation for a limousine um but we might change things up this year We've also used Zag in the past, Z-A-G, and we, we'll see, we might change up the limousine. I suppose the breeding has got a little bit easier now, just because we're kind of focused on like the three-way cross. So like if the cow is, let's say a Jersey cross, like she's gonna get a Norwegian red. And so like when we were just doing Frisians, like I was spending an awful lot of time like matching up like figures to make sure we get like the highest butter fat and protein and minimize like a huge amount of liters because of we're a low input system um, but it's a little bit easier now because it's just like if the cow is Frisian we just pick out our high EBI Frisians they get Jersey and then our Jersey cross cows get Norwegian red and then our Norwegian red cross cows they get Frisian so we're just going back again so it just makes breeding a little bit easier and oh I also have an excel file where I put in the calving surveys so like cows are scored one to four depending on how they calve so one would be like that, that they calve no problem at all they calve by themselves a four would be that a vet was required um so i've kept track of that every year you can get it on icbf as well um but i just like to have it in an excel file so that i can just get it up easily and then I just fill it in from let's say like this year now 2022 um, so only cows that have had like no problems with calving since they were a heifer um, will give them Belgian blue or the the couple that buy the continentals from us they were saying will we try cemental so I don't know we'll see we'll have a look and see what kind of bulls are available but yeah if not we'll just stick with limousine belgian blue and angus and just keep it keep it straight forward um we only use easy calf and obviously on the heifers i think i've mentioned this maybe in other videos but just to touch on it again we normally do dairy ai for three weeks we just try to use up all of the dairy straws as early as possible um because especially for like the bull calves they are worth an awful lot more if they're early calves compared to like a mid-march late march dairy bull calf then it's just beef after that Generally we breed for like nine to ten weeks. We have obviously cut down our replacement numbers So we've only been keeping like 20 replacements last year had to breed for 11 and a half weeks uh, Just to make sure like that we had enough to cover ourselves. So which we did we ended up with like 145 in calf um, and we aimed to build 140 so uh, You always you know keep a few extra just in case anything happens which it normally does um unfortunately just that's the the way it goes so we'll probably do that again this year we'll probably do 11 weeks obviously the ideal will be like that we'd like to get it down to nine we had it down at nine for a number of years when we had a little bit more replacements and it's just really nice like basically been finished calving at the end of march first week of april um just gives you a nice break between calving and breeding before you start again anyway that is the crack um hope you enjoyed the bulls and i'm heading home now today and we will be getting ourselves probably on friday project and i'll sit down and like finalize the all the bulls and that we're going to be using for the breeding season that's basically it hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching again and we'll see you in the next one bye also a special appearance oh nancy come back here special appearance to our dog nancy she's very old and she's a bit senile she was from the pound so she has a bit of a shake all the time don't you nancy yeah adios amigo